it's Samantha from Scrap Masters Paradise. And today I have a Marker Pop haul to share with you guys. I'm doing this a little bit different. Usually I film my haul videos with my overhead camera mount, but I only have my new camera set up on this mount. I haven't messed with the overhead mount yet. So I thought I would just go ahead and try to film it here and we're gonna try something new for this. Please let me know if you prefer this style over the overhead style for my haul videos. I might just film them this way if you guys like it more. So just let me know in the comment section below which style you prefer for these haul videos. So I've got a Marker Pop haul for you guys today. You guys know I just love Marker Pop. I am on their design team again. I was on their design team for, for almost three years, I think, um, being their design team leader. I was their first design team member and I started their design team being their design team leader and now I'm back on the team so I'm really excited about that and I've been ordering some extra stuff with my design team goodies here and there and while I'm not card making as much these days I still plan on making cards here and there and my favorite cards to make are either cameo cards where there's lots of die cutting or Copic coloring cards so those are my two favorite kinds of cards and I do plan on still getting all the Copics eventually. I just have seen so many other things I want to spend my money on right now, um, including lots of stamps and little goodies here and there. So I haven't been buying Copics at Marker Pop right now, but all of my Copics came from Marker Pop, and you know I have a ton of them. I have close to all of the Copics. You can see most of these are Copic Sketch. You can see them in here. I'll try to link to this container if they still make it. It's a, it is a very expensive container, but I ended up getting it when a scrapbook store closed. A local scrapbook store went out of business. They were selling this container for $5. So I ended up with this container for $5 and I put some cool duct tape on it um, just to make it prettier. It's made out of that clear acrylic material and I didn't like that so much. So I wanted it to look all nice and pretty. So there are my Copics. I've gotten every one of these from Marker Pop except a couple of them that I got in the Copic certification class. So those are the only ones I didn't buy directly from Marker Pop. So I'm definitely a Marker Pop fan. If you are interested in purchasing Copics, they have great prices for their Copics. All right, so let's go ahead and get into my haul. I actually don't have any Copics in this haul, but I got a couple of other things. So for accessories, I got this Distress Ink Peeled Paint. I've been just adding a couple of these to my orders here and there because I want to end up with all of these. I want to do some distressing type of things that you can do with these ink pads. So I'm really excited to collect some of these and have them to use. You guys have been asking me about this and talking about it and I've seen it mentioned in lots of other videos and on other blogs. So I decided to pick one up. It is the Wink of Stella Brush Glitter Pen. I just got the clear. They have lots of different colors. I think there's two body styles for these and it's something that's new to me. So I'm gonna try this out. I have been using the Spica Glitter Pens that are actually made by the Copic Company and these are made by Zig. So I will give this a try and I will review it for you guys. So if you guys ever have a product you guys want me to check out or review or give you my thoughts, let me know and sometimes I'll pick it up. I had a lot of requests to review this one and so I am going to review it for you guys. And then I got a lot of stamps. So this stamp set is from Paper Smooches and it's called Spectrum. And I got this one because of that unicorn. I've never used Paper Smooches stamps before, but this one has been on my wish list for a long time. As soon as I saw that unicorn, I knew I wanted the stamp set and Marker Pop finally got it back in stock. So I snagged one of these. And then I got a lot of Greeting Farm stamps. I totally love the Greeting Farm. So I got Birthday Anya number three, Guitar Ian, which I think he's a brand new release. He was really cute. My husband plays guitar, so I like that one. And then I got Sweetie Bean, and I like a lot of these bean ones. She was really cute with her little hearts. And that is it for this month. I hope you guys enjoyed looking at what I picked up. If you haven't checked out Marker Pop lately, I recommend that you do. They've been adding a lot of new stamp companies, all sorts of things besides just markers, which is really cool. So I just love that they have great prices, super fast shipping, and I've always had great customer service. Um, even when I wasn't a design team member, they always answered my questions super quickly and and it's just a great place to shop. I just know they're gonna give me a really good experience. Since I'm paying money to these companies, I wanna be treated with some level of respect, and I think Marker Pop goes above and beyond. So I'm really happy to be able to design for them again, and I'm happy to recommend them to you guys. That's it, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to subscribe to this channel, I put out a lot of new videos every week, and like me on Facebook, and check out the blog daily for projects and tutorials, and I'll catch you guys next time.
Bye.